How are you? The reason I'm acting so unbelievably flirty and sexual is because I'm filming this in my bedroom. That's right, right here behind me, that is where all the magic happens, right there, baby. Of course, by magic, I mean snoring and farting. My wife is gonna kick me in the balls for saying that. I just felt the urge to make another video right now, so here I am, um, camera set up, actually in the doorway of my bathroom and looking into my bedroom because my son is in his room uh, asleep or, or trying to get to sleep and that's where I normally film my videos. And like usual, the battery's going down on the camera, so let's see what I can get out before that happens. Today we had a lot of errands to run, so naturally we got behind and things didn't go as planned and we spent the whole day pretty much trying to get the stuff that we wanted to do done and that really didn't happen. An example of how weird things went today, we decided to go to the Mall of Georgia and we loaded everything up into my car and we get all the way down there and we realized we forgot to bring the baby stroller but we brought the baby. What is a parent to do in that situation? Well, ladies and gentlemen, luckily the mall people offer these... I'll be right back. As I was saying, the mall people have these wonderful little rental strollers, right? They're shaped like a car and Jacqueline loves cars. So we put five dollars into this machine which magically unlocks this wonderful little device for us to play with and, and push our child around the, the mall being we forgot his, his thing and he's he's driving, you know, pretending, you know, he's driving a real car, he's got his little steering wheel and he is excited. But it's at this point, tell him, it squeals so unbelievably loud and annoying it's causing a scene. Apparently the good people at the Mall of Georgia do not regularly maintain these child buggy cart things and so you know they, they don't grease the wheels, they don't they don't do any kind of maintenance to them it looks like so uh, here we are trying to push our child through the mall and the wheels are squealing and everybody's looking at me and my face turned red it was just crazy. Uh. So naturally I did what anybody would do and I tried to find somebody that worked uh, you know, in and around this area that could help me maybe exchange it for another uh, rental car and uh, oddly enough nobody could help me. The one guy that was floating around there that I was told could help me apparently didn't even speak English uh, but pretty much said, oh sorry, oh sorry, nothing, nothing. And what he meant by that was, uh, I'm sorry sir, there's nothing I can do. Uh, I'm uneducated. And I'm not picking on him because of his job or anything, I'm picking on him for the fact that he couldn't speak English uh, in a mall, you know, where, where he has to deal with the public. Why, why can't he speak English? That's the predominant language. <laughs> so I get irritated and I go to return this stupid rental child's nightmare that's screeching through the mall causing a scene and I can't get it back into their little return thing. If you snap it into the return thing correctly, it gives you one of your five dollars back and you know at this point I'm just like screw it, it's just a dollar, we'll just leave it and go. So our friend No Speaker Inglés comes running after us and he's like oh, oh, and he kind of shows me with his hands, pick the, the thing up and then put it back into the, into the little return thing and, and out spits four quarters. I know, four quarters after all that. So at this point I want to be like the superhero dad, husband, and I'm like you know I'll just I'll just throw them up on my arm and I'm gonna I'm gonna walk through these stores and, and, and you can shop honey and, and I'll hold them. Which actually worked pretty good for about 15 minutes. After that I realized it was about 100 degrees in the mall and I'm burning up, I'm wearing pants and, and he's sweating all over me and mm, trying to get down and trying to grab everything off the shelves and I couldn't feel my arm. Thank you. But somehow we got through the day. We pretty much finished up our shopping, we went back home, we got a stroller, went to a different mall, did a little bit more shopping, and overall it wasn't a terrible day, I guess. But I just wanted to vent my frustration about these things. I know nobody probably even cares, but the mall people, if you're listening, maintain the child thingies a little bit better. And people that uh, have kids always, always remember to take your stroller with you if you take your kid with you. Seems like common sense, but apparently I forgot. Oh, oh.